Hello there, and welcome back to Cumberland News. Tensions rise as Jack's organic and eco-friendly farm falls victim to Tinny's more efficient but unethical one. It's not every day you bear witness to a farm this size, but for lucky Cumberland residents, an abundance of wheat, carrots and potatoes can all be found here, helping to feed the growing population. Yeah, husband's off to go fight in the Bing Chilling War, leaving me and my daughter with nothing to eat. If it wasn't for Jack's farm, we wouldn't have survived. Uh, my name's Cletus, and I love this farm because I can just run around free and touch all the crops with my nice, clean hands. Ah! I just love touching them, especially the carrots. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, there's a kid over there. Unfortunately for Jack, Timmy's much smaller farm outperforms his, being systematically harvested by villagers and sold at the same free price. It's bloody ridiculous, isn't it? Weeks of effort went into my farm just for him to use slaves for a better efficiency. His absolute unethical practice has stolen all my customers, let alone the lives locked away within the walls of his factory forever harvesting carrots. What. A. Joke. But for Tinny, the creation of this farm was crucial. Not only for him and for the people of Cumberland, but for the villagers being seemingly treated as slaves. Oh, that gave me sick. These villagers aren't always being used as slaves. They're well fed, well paid, and every one of them chooses to be part of this farm. Villagers have been used by all the people in Cumberland. And do you think I'm bad for giving some of them an opportunity outside their brooding chamber? An opportunity to help the community and earn emeralds. Bigger doesn't always mean better, Jack. Bigger didn't mean better for Cumberland's oldest resident, Carter, who enjoyed a quiet life inside his little home. That was until its violent destruction. Tom, I'm standing here at the scene of Carter's house. As you can see, it's seen better days. If you follow me into the ruins, the signs suggest. He's obviously gone mad. Carter was a very respected member of Cumberland. I just found it so despicable how his house was burnt down. This house has been burnt down not once, not twice, but three times. And quite frankly, we're sick of it. We've put up with enough arson on this server and people think it's just for shits and gigs and set buildings alight. And guess who has to deal with it? Us. And we don't even get our own building. Like, for Christ's sake, they expect us to put fires out of our own bare hands? It's bullcrap. I know who did it. It was Ethan. That guy over there. Go get him. No, 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 no. Boys, come on, it was just a house. Don't do this, guys. Seriously. No, 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 please, 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 please. Boys, it was just a house, come on. Honestly, guys, no. The culprit may be taken care of, but Carter's current location is still unknown. He was last seen building the mob farm, perhaps using it to take out his anger on the monsters, or to create his power and take revenge. The sanctuary's beloved chicken, Francis, has died at the hands of General Ben It was the first independent nation. An opportunity for those stronger than a silly little communist island. A place of power built upon the idea of maintaining order. But with so much internal power, can a place truly stay unified? I was born naive, longing for peace. That changed after I joined Bing Chilling. I now view the world for what it is. An endless conflict of morals. So what good are mine? He's got Francis. I'll kill him. I will kill him. Don't let him get to sea! He's getting away! 
Stop right there. This is what happens when you fuck with my nation. <laughs> no! You fiddle with the wrong pickle. What the hell? Ethan has the remains. We need to get them back. He's gone out too far now. How can we contact him? Pain? Ben Chilling, do you understand the pain you've caused us? The pain you've caused an innocent chicken? No. Just, all we want are the remains. <laughs> We're being serious, alright? Please, just give us back our Francis. No. What if we gave you something? Diamonds? No. Netherite? <laughs> A god apple. Yes. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Give us Francis and we'll give you the apple. What about my armor? You didn't get your armor. I see you all the way. Well played, boys. <laughs> get Francis! Apologies. It appears Cumberland News has undergone some technical difficulties. That's all from the team. Good night. Here's a fresh pair of armor, sir. Never write just how you like it. D don't worry, I didn't forget your tools. Fire aspect sword, sharpness axe, and a bow. I know how much you like your bows, sir. It's time. I'll start working right away, sir. 